So the White House says that the theme for tomorrow night's speech will be building a safe, strong, and proud America. Apparently that is the tone that the administration hopes that will be set tomorrow night as they head into year two. But not every member of Congress will be there to hear it. At least nine Democrats have announced that they will not be there. They're going to boycott the president's address tomorrow evening. Here now Mercedes Schlapp, assistant to the president. And senior advisor for strategic communications. Mercedes, good to see you tonight. Great to be here. Um, also, Nancy Pelosi and I think 23 other members are bringing dreamers with them to this speech. Uh, what kind of statement do you think that makes, and how will the president take that in? Well, I just got to tell you, the president is very focused on talking about being forward looking in his State of the Union, talking about his accomplishments, how they're lifting all Americans. Uh, talking about his agenda, about jobs, infrastructure, immigration, trade, national security, all these important topics uh, that resonate with Americans. I mean, this is about uniting the country. This is about talking about values that Americans care about, patriotism, uh, helping to boom the eco economic boom. And the result of what the president has done in his historic first year, which I got to tell you, I've worked for two presidents, and President Trump, really, in terms of what we've seen of economic success, he has quite the story to tell in terms of dereg and pushing right. forward more of job creation and increases of wages I mean, for it's Americans. It's interesting because, you know, after the health care bill went down, all the talk everywhere was that there were no legislative accomplishments right. of this White House. And now, um, and I hear, you know, Senator McConnell was talking to Dana Perino today, and he said, He's been around a long time, too. And he said, I've never seen so right. many things accomplished in the first year. So, you know, when you listen to these folks who say that they're going to boycott, and I think we have a little bit of, a sound, of sound from some of them. Let's play that and get Mercedes' reaction. For the sake of the institution, I cannot give this man who does not respect me the respect to be in that audience. Okay. I would rather skip this than listen to the rhetoric coming from a White House that has done away with decency. Well, what's the White House response that, to that comment? Well, that's quite unfortunate because what we have seen is that the Democrats have not presented any agenda. Let's look at the contrast. You have leftist Democrats who decide to hang out with the celebrities at the Grammys, while you have President Trump talking about the forgotten Americans, the forgotten men and women, and that agenda, which, as we know, is an agenda that resonates across party lines. Uh, when you're talking about job growth, when you're talking about deregulation that impacts real businesses, where you're having companies coming back, over 250 companies basically giving bonuses and, and increasing their wages. This is a positive story to tell. This is about expanding opportunities for all Americans. And what you're seeing with the Democrats is an out-of-touch elite mentality where, in fact, they have no agenda. They have no well, solution. I mean, it is interesting because in terms of agenda and you listen to what they were saying it is really all about pointing out what they see as uh, you know someone in the White House that they don't approve of. And you mentioned Hollywood, Cynthia Nixon weighing in tonight as well. I don't know if you had a chance to see this, but let's play a little sound bite. Oh no, it's not a sound bite. Um, so I'll do a dramatic reading of, of Cynthia Nixon. Okay, um, <laughs> President Trump's first year in office has been a dark year for many in America. For those of us who value equal rights for all, or economic and racial justice, or want to combat climate change, we have taken, and she goes on to say, huge steps backwards. If we've learned anything during the first year of the Trump presidency, it's that the cavalry isn't coming to save us. And she's encouraging Americans. We ourselves are the cavalry in 2018. Each one of us must do whatever we can to take our government back. She says State of the Union should be about uh, the people of the country standing up and saying how horrified they are, as she is, by, by the Trump presidency. Well, the, President Trump fights for Americans every day. It is his focus. It is what he wants to do in ensuring that we bring more jobs back, that all Americans have the opportunities that they need to succeed. Um, and he's focused on it. I mean, it's what he does every day. When you're does looking he enjoy at this process when he's working on the speech? Is he excited about tomorrow night? Absolutely. So he's incredibly energized. He's going to speak from the heart. He wants to sh show to the American people that he's committed to ensuring that their lives improve every day. And that the fact is, is that the Democrats are going to take away their tax cuts. If the Democrats have no agenda, if they can't even accept reasonable immigration reform, I mean, it is clear that their only message is resist, while the president's message is that of a solution and providing better opportunity for all Americans. Before I let you go, one quick news question. Uh, Andrew McCabe, did the White House have any role in his decision to step down or him being removed from no. the FBI? The president was not involved in the decision-making process. We know that the president has full confidence in the FBI director, uh, Christopher Wray. Thank you, Mercedes. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you tomorrow.